Hey guys, so today I'm going to do the mixed girl tag. Um, anyone who's watching this, I'm tagging you to do this um, mixed girl tag because you know um, I think it's really, I think it's pretty interesting. I've never thought that some tags would make any sense, but um, I actually didn't know about this ta this kind of tag until like um, a month before I made my YouTube channel. So, um, I'm glad I found out about it because I'm going to do one today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started because I don't want it to be too long. Um, first question is, what are you mixed with? I'm black and Indian. Um, I get asked that question a lot. Um, I, you know, I'm that kind of person that thinks it's a little rude to ask how old you are or um, what are you, what are you like, ra ethnically, what, I mean, race, like racial-wise, what are you, um, I, I hate when people ask me, but hopefully I will refer this to everyone who asks me because I'm not going to answer the question anymore. Um, uh, second question is, what have you been mistaken for? I've been mistaken for black and white, biracial, and I've been mistaken for um, um, Blasian. I don't know how, <laughs> but um, I guess, yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> um, Question three is, is your hair curly or straight? My real hair, besides my extensions, obviously, is wavy. I straighten my hair out from the roots down all the time, so um, you'll probably never ever see my hair wavy or my natural hair because, yeah, I like wearing extensions, so I don't think you'll ever get to see my real hair. Maybe in a couple of months or something, but yeah, I'm kind of not a real hair kind of person, so... Yeah. Question four is, what is was it challenging growing up? It kind of was, and it still kind of is. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the people I go to school with tend to make fun of me, bully me, by call, by saying, I mean, by um, calling me an Oreo. Um, I've been bullied um, about it um, when I was in, like, elementary school. A lot of kids would pick on me and um, push me and um, hit me and limbs, you know, my arms, and kick me. I was, um, bullied about it, and especially because of the people I hung out with. I didn't really hang out with black people, um, but I guess that's a problem for some people, um, if I don't hang out with black people, but I'm not just black, so I tend to hang out with a lot of other kind of races, and just especially because of the guys I dated, um, over my dating years in school, um, I dated a lot of people outside of my races, so, yeah, and I still cut, and I still am dating out of my race, but I don't get, um, but I kind of do get, um, I don't know, I do get some discrimination from it, but I don't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> fifth question is, which background do you embrace the most? I, to be honest, I don't really embrace either one the most. Um, I mean, I don't really think you can act a race, I think that's stereotypical. Um, I don't believe in acting a race. I mean, does that made any sense, you know? <laughs> Can you believe in that? But I'm just saying, I don't really believe in that kind of stuff. Like, you act a race of what you're mixed with. I think you act like yourself, um, if that makes any sense. I don't think I act like either one. I just act like myself. So I don't really know how to answer that. Sixth question is, have you ever been teased for being different? Um, yeah, um, I don't know. I get teased about wearing extensions. People are like, if you're mixed, then why don't you wear your real hair? Um, I mean, maybe it's just because I don't want to. Maybe it's because I'm a little sick of my natural hair. You know, it's shorter, and I can't really do much with it. So I just wear extensions, I guess. So, And that's one thing I get teased about. I get teased about the guys I date. Um, um... I always get teased, like, why don't you hang out with the black people? Why are you always hanging out with the white people, the Mexican people, and, like, the Asian people, or whatever? Like, um, I don't know. I, I mean, if you call that teasing, I mean, it kind of is to me, um, because, I don't know, I don't like people assuming that I have to hang out with black people because I'm mixed with black. I mean, you can hang out with any, well, whoever you feel comfortable hanging out with. Maybe I don't hang out with that many black people because they tend to always ask me the same questions and it's annoying. So 
I hang out with people that, you know, kind of get it. So, yeah. Um, six questions. Um, <clears throat> oh, wait. Seventh question. Have you ever been ashamed of being um, multiracial? No. Um, not really. I mean, even when I was being bullied about it, I just didn't care anymore. You know, it was just um, a whatever for me. I just don't care about what people say about me because if they didn't care, they um, if they really didn't care about you, they wouldn't um, judge you all the time and like talk about you. You wouldn't be on their mind when they're like, you know, about, sorry, about to like make fun of you or whatever. So I just um, don't even care, pretty much. Um, but. Um, I don't know. My brother seems to make fun of me about it because he's not mixed. He's just black. My sister does too, so I mean, uh, I, I've never been ashamed, so no. Um, eight, do you feel being multiracial has its benefits? Um, yeah. Um, like one. I feel like since I'm multiracial, I mean, hanging out with a bunch of people is a little different for me because, you know, I'm, um, I don't know how to say it. Um, well, I'm only, um, half, I mean, half Indian, so, I don't know. I guess that gives me the, you know, benefit of hanging out with whoever I want, um, some, some times, and, um, sorry, I'm not trying to black out here. I mean, I'm trying to, like, listen. I mean, um, pay attention to the camera. Um, no, I mean, it kind of does, you know. Um, I always usually have, I mean, because I always date out of my race. I usually have that benefit of dating whoever I want because they seem to, um, like how my skin looks or how I look or appear, um, physically. I don't know. I think physically it, People tend to, uh, guys seem to go for me, um, because, um, of the way I look. So, yeah. Um, mm. but yeah, I mean, I guess it has its benefits. Maybe it's different for everybody, but that's just the benefit for me. I usually date any guy, pretty much. Um, ninth question is, what makes your, mul what makes multiracial a beautiful thing? Um... Everybody is beautiful, but um, being able to, you know, do both cultures um, every now and then, you know, eating Indian food, um, um, <clears throat> eating um, 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 soul food, I mean, which is African American type of food, soul food, if you don't know what it is, you could just look it up. <laughs> it's something a lot of um, black, or, black families usually eat, and that's something I eat every now and then, but I'm pretty much a, ch I mean, a Chinese food type of person, and you know, out burgers, and fast food restaurants type of person, so yeah, and I need to stop that because I'm gaining some weight, so yeah. Um, tenth question is... Um, any advice for some of the mixed people out there that are dealing with multiracial, I mean, dealing with their multiracial identity? Keep your head up high, you know? Don't let anybody make you feel like you're any less or a creature of this earth because you're more than one race, you know? And because you're black, you can be mixed as a white person. You can be a white person and just be mixed with something else. Um, I guess it's just because we feel like we can't just say we're black or we can't just say we're whatever else. Um, we have to end up telling people what we're mixed with and then people are very judgmental towards me mixed people but if you're mixed and you're watching this um, don't let your ident I mean your personality change because someone's trying to make you um, be ashamed of your other race or what you're mixed with because you shouldn't be um, you should embrace both sides because your parents you should be thankful that they even gave birth to you because you know if it wasn't for both of them you wouldn't be you so there's nothing to be ashamed about um, if someone judges you just ignore them they're just haters so 
don't know. I guess that's all I have to say. If you guys want more advice on this, then I would be glad to, um, I don't know. I mean, I would be glad to tell you guys, please make this video because, I mean, as a video response to me because I would love to hear you guys' feedback on this video just because, I don't know. I mean, if you have any more questions, just comment below. But yeah, I thank you guys for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you guys in another video. Bye.